everyone, it's Ingrid from Toronto. So, here's my hair straight. This video is dedicated to Glad Heart, who commented on my last video and said, we love the curls, but when are we gonna see straight hair? <laughs> Can you do one without the curls? And she's right. I post the curls because I just love the volume and it's so fun, you know, but um, this is my hair straight. And uh, I'm going to start prefacing all my videos by saying that my what, what I have to offer is for those of you that have 4C hair and who want organic locks. You want organic locks and you have 4C hair, 4B or 4C, but specifically 4C, my videos are for you. <laughs> so... This is it. I use no oils. I use no conditioner. I just wash once a week with a clarifying shampoo and that is it. So this is hair that was washed um, yesterday morning. It's not stretched or anything. So I'll give you a spin around. And it's light, it feels fluffy, it's easy, it's fun, and um, you know my goal with these videos is to help those of you who have 4C hair and are still trying to figure out um, how to manage it in the best way. And I found that you know, 4C hair, it not only does it twist, you know how you have the charts of 4A, B, and C, and how 4C hair is really, really tightly coiled, the tightest of them all. Not only does it coil, and if you have 4C hair, then you'll know. Not only does the hair coil, it will it will coil one, two, three, four, and then it'll do a like a boxy pattern, and then coil, 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 and then boxy, and then coil. So it really, really wants to cling to the hairs beside it. I don't know if you can see, but if you have 4C hair, you know what I mean, right? It's not just coily, but it's coily and zigzaggy and boxy, and then coily, coily, and then zig, and that's the pattern of the shaft of the hair. So what you do to get hair like this which is so easy and so fun and it's so soft. And by the way, this hair is dry. Your hair can be dry. It's supposed to be dry. It's either wet or dry. It doesn't need to be moist. So what you do, you grow your afro out and you're always going to have an afro base to your lock. And at the end of the afro, it's going to start to bud and you just let that bud. And what happens, all the shed hair starts to catch and hold on to itself and it starts to knit itself into this shaft of hair, which you call a lock of hair. And you don't need to oil it. You see, if you oil it, if you oil your hair, your hair is going to get used to all the oils and products. And then if you stop, it's going to get really brittle dry like hay and brittle and you're going to think that you need to add more oil and more conditioner but that's not the case you need to stop using all those products and let your hair rebalance itself this is if you have 4c hair and you want to lock your hair the other thing is you don't have to twist it you see you twist your hair you're going to twist away all the afro all the that base because you want Either you want length or you want to see the scalp. And if that's the case, then have fun with that. But I don't really like that look. I think it looks like hair plugs. You know, when you have all those squares all over and when you part it, you can see all of it looks like plugs. But at the same time, you know, if you have box braids, you know, if you love braids and you braid your hair all the time or you like twists, big twists, 
it's locks that you really, 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 really want. And I strongly recommend you go for it because it's so fun and so easy. You don't have to do anything. You don't need accessories. You don't need clips. All I do, I have a spray bottle, so I mist it just to soften the hair so that you can style it if you want to braid it or if you want to put it in um, curl flexi rods. So all you need is spray bottle, um, a pack of flexi rods. I use the really thick, thick barrel rods. Mine are gray, but they come in a variety of colors. But it's like a, I think it's called like a one inch or one and a quarter inch thick flexi rod to curl my hair. Um, I have some little elastics for when I braid my hair. And by the way, so I, I changed my braid out um, technique. I used to grab like about this much hair and like braid it really tight all the way down and then put the elastic band at the end. But I found that when I did that, it was uncomfortable to sleep in because it was like these thick, dense, like, pieces of hair all over my head and it was just uncomfortable. So what I do now, I take bigger sections and I just braid it really loose. No tension and like flat, just like that. Dampen it first, just mist it, just mist your hair just so that it's pliable, right? And then I put the elastic band there and then it's way easier to sleep on. So, and the curl, it's, it, it's a nice loose wave is how it ends up, which I much prefer than the really tight crinkly uh, look, which is nice. If that's your thing, then that's fine. But I just couldn't sleep on those braids. My hair was just too thick. <laughs> it's like sleeping on these rods. So I found a different way. So that's the straight hair. Straight hair. Um, my philosophy on twisting, if you think that you need to twist your hair and you like the new growth is growing in and it's getting fuzzy and I have to go retwist it, it's, you're not that far from getting a touch up when we used to get relaxer touch ups to like cover up the new growth, right? And so if you feel like this is something you need to do, then I'm just going to encourage you to let it go. Let it go and embrace your furriness. Look at that, it's supposed to be furry. It's cute. And it's what gives your hair body. And bounce, you know? You can go swimming in the morning and then be ready for brunch and look spectacular and have your hair feeling and looking fabulous. Right? You don't need accessories and clips. Your hair wants to hold on to itself. So all you need to do is fold it and tuck it. Fold and tuck and it will stay and give you all the looks that you want. Um, be careful with bleaching because the sun will bleach your hair. You can see the ends of my hair is brown and that's the sun that's burning it. But if you use peroxide and burn the ends because you want, you want the blonde tips, just be prepared to have dry ends, you know, not soft. And you, you're you gonna feel like you have to oil them and soften them somehow because you will have burned it. And eventually they'll weaken and you'll have to cut them off. So if you're gonna do color, I don't know, I don't color my hair, but I imagine if you put color on, like, you know, other colors onto your hair, then that's different. But Bleaching it, you're just pulling out all the color, natural color, out of your hair. So, lint. I never get lint. What I do get are just, just on the ends, a little bit of fluff from my towel. Or if I'm wearing something 
fluffy and fuzzy. But I use 100% Indian cotton towels and it, it's so mm, fluffy and just, mm, I just love, I get right in there and I dry it. And I sleep on a cotton pillowcase and I don't sleep with a bonnet of any sort. It's not necessary. These are the things that you don't need. You can do that if you want to, but you don't need to. Your hair is magic. It will do everything you've ever wanted it to do if you just allow it to stay in its natural state and perform the function that it's meant to perform, which is to lock. It's ideal. So if you're having fun with your afro, but it's getting too long, and you don't know what to do with it, and you're having to use tons of product to keep it, because that's when you do need product, is when you're a loose natural and you need to run a comb through it, then you need lubricant, you need something slippery. But if you've got that afro and you don't know what to do with it and you're just ready to cut your hair off, don't. Let it lock, allow it to lock and just separate it, but don't separate it too soon. You see my hair could have, <laughs> I've been locking my hair for, I wanna say about three years and it could be longer, but I had I separated it too early and I had a patch over here that I was just vigorously separating <clears throat> because I didn't want it to grow in big Congos. And what happened was the pieces got too small and they were just spindly and eventually they fell off or I cut them off because they were just too fine. They were just too little, you know? So you want to be patient and let your hair lock and wait if you're starting from a TWA or if you're starting from a full-on afro, wait until you see definite pieces and then separate. But your hair will grow into the pieces it needs to grow in. And you won't have to worry about the fact that you've got hair growing outside of the lock. Don't worry. All you need to do, the hair wants to lock. Like, don't worry about these pieces, you know. It's what adds character and, and fun. To your hair. What else? But there's always the temptation to get that gel out. Like how cute would that be if you just slick it up, slick it back. <laughs> I know, I know all about it. It's a lot of fun to do, but you'll pay the price because all that stuff will get caught in your lock and you will have created a perfect playground for dust and lint to settle in. And you will be crying about buildup, horrible, horrible buildup, and you'll have to stick your head in a bucket of vinegar and baking soda to dissolve it. And who wants to do that? It just doesn't look fun. It doesn't sound fun. You don't need aloe vera. I see people putting aloe vera. They, so they put oils. You know, you, you don't need all of that. The aloe vera, leave that for your skin. Aloe vera in your hair, it's going to leave all these little particles in there. I don't even know what I'm doing in the back, but I'm sure it looks presentable and fun and interesting. So that's my straight hair look and all of what you can do with it. Look at this. No buildup. This is at the very back, the very nape of my hair. And you would think that those are the ones that would have lint, but you won't. You'll only get lint at the very tips. And it just takes you two seconds to hold your hair, especially when it's straight, it's easier to see. And it just you just pick it off the ends. And that's the extent of grooming, that and separating the hair. Okay, so good luck. And I'll be back with another video, I don't know, sometime soon. <laughs> Take care.